So in today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to add or use the zoom effect using keyframes in CapCut. Now for this one, I'm using the CapCut mobile app on Android, but you can follow the same instructions for CapCut on your iPhone or even iPad. So let's go ahead and start a new project. Let me use this video. Now this is a short clip of my bike getting cleaned. Let me just reduce the volume just to avoid any distractions. Now, let's add this to the timeline. Now, once you add it to the timeline and then go to edit. Now, in edit mode, you should see keyframes. Okay. Now, the keyframes are important because you can be used to edit a specific section of a video and control uh, a few things because if you want to just zoom in the entire video, all you have to do is just slide in and the entire video is going to be zoomed in. So now when you look at the preview, that's what the video looks like. It's zoomed in. Okay. But since we want to zoom in a specific section of that video clip, we're going to need keyframes. Okay. Now, this being the original clip, Let's go ahead and zoom it out okay let's go back to the original form factor there you go so that's the original video clip and that's what it looks like so to zoom in with keyframes just go to where you want to begin the zoom let's say you want it to start there okay so come here and add a keyframe so when you have this little icon with a plus, when you tap on it, it means it's going to add a keyframe. So tap on that. You can see it adds that little keyframe. Then move just slightly forward like that. And then zoom in to the way you want it zoomed in like that. And then add another keyframe. Okay. So just going to... Come here and try to add another keyframe. So we have this keyframe and this keyframe showing the zoom. Okay, so between the two keyframes, we have the video zooming in. And so what you need to do is play to the end of uh, the part where you want it to zoom in. Okay, so Let's say you want it to zoom up to there. So what you need to do is first of all, add another keyframe and then move slightly forward again, like that. And then add, and then before you add the other keyframe, reduce back to the original size. And then add another keyframe. Sometimes it, it's going to add for you automatically and then just continue playing the clip so basically what you've done is you've played the video in the original size and then from here you've zoomed in to the zoom in size played the video zoomed and then zoom back out to the other keyframe back to the original size and then continued so let's play that and see what it looks like okay there you go like that Let's uh, just play it in full screen to see what it looks like. Now, the speed at which it zooms in and out mainly depends on the space you leave between the keyframes. Now, as you can see, it's zooming in quickly because I've left a very short space between the keyframes, this keyframe and this one, and then this one and this one. So if you leave a, uh, a slightly bigger space, then you're going to have a much more smoother and slower zooming in and zooming out but that's basically how to add the zoom effect using keyframes in CapCut. thanks for watching leave your comments and questions down below and good luck